Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Maybe two baby have kindly shared behind the scenes footage of our Duke and Duchess. Near caption, we were thrilled to have the Duke and Duchess of Sussex join our team last week for a back to school distribution, spending time with students returning to remote learning due to COVID-19. Thank you for putting smiles on the faces of the children and families we serve and helping us provide the supplies, basic hygiene and clothing every child deserves. Baby 2 Baby was one of the four organizations chosen by the Sussexes to celebrate the birth of Archie instead of gifts. Break the birth of Archie instead of gifts. Break the birth of Archie instead of gifts. Break His will be the Sussexes in a few years time getting Archie ready for school. Whenever I see these kind of sweet images or videos of the Sussexes with children, I can't help but think of Archie too. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Is Prince Harry left or right-handed? Hand preference has long been a source of cultural fascination. There are many stereotypes related to hand preference, including higher creativity, intelligence, and overall success. Many sports, particularly baseball, seek out left-handed players viewing them as having the edge over the competition. Left-handed individuals are frequent among celebrities, politicians, and even royalty. Learn more about what Prince Harry's dominant hand is. Left-handed members of the royal family. Left-handed British royalty is traced back to Queen Victoria. During her lifetime, being left-handed was not widely accepted. Therefore, she wrote with her right hand, but painted with her left. Although there is debate as to how much genetics is involved in determining hand preference, there have been many left-handed members of the royal family since Queen Victoria. Notably, future King Prince William is a lefty as well as his uncle, Prince George. Prince William is quite proud of his left, handed attribute and not afraid to vocalize his opinion on the matter. He said, left-handers have better brains. He also has high hopes of passing the Southpaw trait on to his children. Other famous lefties. Superior intelligence is one of the numerous common associations with lefties. Several intelligent historical figures had a left-handed preference, including Benjamin Franklin and Leonardo da Vinci and Albert Einstein. However, in truth, Studies have conflicting results, whether right or left-handed people have higher intelligence. That doesn't mean that lefties don't have tons of other amazing qualities, though. Only 10% of the population is left-handed, and they are a unique group of people. Numerous musicians, such as Justin Bieber, are left-handed, as well as prominent actors, including Kate Hudson, Julia Roberts, and Hugh Jackman. Lefties can also claim a great sense of humor, with Jerry Seinfeld and Tina Fey among their ranks. For sports fans, left-handed players are highly sought over. In multiple sports, southpaws have clear advantages. MLB is notorious for seeking southpaw pitchers. They make up almost 30% of pitchers in the league and include many of the best, including Clayton Kershaw and David Price. The NBA is also full of lefty talents, including some of the best players the franchise has ever seen. Is Prince Harry left-handed? With so many prominent figures and celebrities carrying the lefty trait, you might begin to wonder who else is a South Pop. While the Duke of Cambridge is a lefty, his brother Prince Harry is not. Neither was his mother, the late Princess Diana, or his father, Prince Charles. Prince Harry himself is not left-handed, but his wife has an even rarer hand preference. Meghan, 
Duchess of Sussex is ambidextrous, a trait that comprises only 1% of the world's population. Of course, this doesn't mean she doesn't have preferences. She typically prefers writing with her left hand, but likes to eat with her right. She also prefers to hold her purse in her right hand, but had to adjust when she became a member of the royal family. Women in the royal family hold their bags in their left hands to keep their right hands free to greet people. This is only one of a good deal of etiquette rules the royal family must follow. No doubt, Meghan's ambidextrous talents are only one of her admirable qualities. Prince Harry might not be a lefty, but he is showing the world he is continuously displaying his unique and independent thinking to the world. As the royal couple moves away from Europe, the public anticipates following their journey. Perhaps they might even have a left-handed or ambidextrous child of their own someday. Another analysis. Contrary to popular belief, some fans think Meghan Markle did have support from the royal family. Ever since Meghan, Duchess of Sussex started publicly dating Prince Harry in 2016, she has been the subject of much negative press. This made her time in the royal family rather difficult, and according to a new biography called Finding Freedom, Meghan felt she did not get much support from other royals. However, not every fan is convinced with the claim that Meghan was not supported by the royal family. In fact, they believe Meghan did get substantial help. Meghan Markle felt unprotected by the royal family. In the fall of 2019, Meghan and Harry began suing a number of British tabloid newspapers for invading their privacy. According to court documents obtained by Entertainment Tonight, Meghan felt unprotected by the royal family as well, especially when she was pregnant and dealing with constant criticism in the press. Binding Freedom also alleged that Meghan wanted more support from her sister-in-law, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. However, Kate reportedly did not reach out even when Meghan was being struggling with the tabloids. Why fans think these claims do not hold up? According to some fans, however, the idea that Meghan received no support from the royal family does not hold up. The fans cite the story in finding freedom of Kate giving Meghan her number and telling her to call. Then, there is also the recent Daily Mail story about Camilla Parker Bowles taking Meghan out to lunch before Meghan's wedding. Camilla is Prince Charles' wife, who has been dealing with negative press and public scrutiny for decades. These fans believe these alleged moves by Kate and Camilla prove Meghan did have support in the royal family. One fan said, Even finding freedom admitted that Kate gave Meghan her number and told her to call her anytime. It was just not enough for Meghan to feel supported, apparently. Some fans point out possible reasons why Meghan Markle may not have listened to Camilla Parker Bowles. Bob Caper, it seems Camilla could have been a good mentor for Meghan given her long history of being villainized by the press. However, some fans point out the rumors that Harry may not have liked Camilla all that much, which could explain why Meghan reportedly did not listen to her. One fan said, If one believes gossip, then Harry has never supposedly really taken to Camilla. He supposedly only tolerates her and is civil, but that's just about it. If true, it might give an insight why her advice may not have been listened to. Another person pointed out that, while Camilla has experience dealing with negative media reports in some people's minds, she deserves it because she was the other woman in Prince Charles and Princess Diana's marriage. As one fan said, in leaks from sources close to the Sussexes, it was often highlighted that Meghan didn't even do anything to have bad press, which I kind of took as an implication of, yeah, Camilla had horrible press for years, but she actually had it coming. Which again, Harry might think that Camilla richly deserved every bit of bad press she got. Of course, these are merely speculations at the end of the day, and we do not know for sure what really went on between Meghan 
and the other royals. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.